Hi, this is Mrs. Ackerman, and I'm here to teach you all about how to create a very basic program in the application ModKit for VEX. ModKit for VEX is software used in the Project Lead the Way classroom for the fifth grade and sometimes sixth grade robotics and automation challenge. This is the coding part of the robotics unit where you've already built your robot, you've done several challenges with the robot using the remote control, now you're going to learn how to control your robot by using code. And I want to tell you it's intimidating at first but I'm here to show you a series of videos that are going to make this coding so much more understandable and I hope that everyone out there will jump in and try writing some code for their robot. So the first thing we're going to do in ModKit for VEX today is we're, I'm going to show you how to create just a basic project. We're going to name a project, save a project, configure our robot chassis in ModKit for VEX, and we're going to write a super simple program for the robot, okay? So to get started, I just want to give you the lay of the land when you open up the ModKit for VEX app. Um, again, this app is available for iPads, and it's also available for MacBooks and PCs. You can just um, download the software online, and, um, and it's free to use. So once you open up ModKit, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. This area is your robot configuration. This is where you kind of configure your robot with all the attachments you've got added onto your robot brain, whatever you're using. In Project Lead the Way, the basic robot has attached to it two motors, a touch LED, and a color sensor. What we need to do is we need to configure our robot. But before we do that, we're going to name our project. Up here it says Untitled Project. We're going to go ahead and give this project a name. And the name of our project is going to be Say Hello. And once we've typed our name for what we want our project to be, we're going to click the Save button right here. It's very important that you save your work frequently when you're working in the ModKit for VEX platform. Once you've saved your project, you're going to go ahead and configure your robot brain and the components that are attached to it. Like I said, we're not going to use the motors option. We're going to use something called the drivetrain, which can be found if you scroll down just a little bit right here. The drivetrain option is excellent for being able to program your motors easily. We have our motors plugged into port one and port six on our robot brain. And you need to update the ports here in the robot platform. You also need to add to your robot configuration the other sensors that you're using. We're using the color sensor, which is plugged into port two, and we're using the touch LED, which is plugged in to port three. Once you have your robot configured, you should save your project. I do saves very frequently. Now you can see here that in the platform, I now have a tab for the brain, the drivetrain, the color sensor, and the touch LED. We're now going to go to the blocks area, which is where we can code for our robot click on the blocks button. This gives us a workspace where we will actually be writing our code using something called block coding. Block coding is as easy as dragging and dropping blocks of code from the left hand area of the screen to this main area. What we want our robot to do for the Say Hello program is we want our robot to say hello. Now the robot can't talk yet, but <laughs> we're going to have the robot print 
the hello, the words hello um, on the screen of the robot. We can write code for the robot in the brain, the drivetrain, the color sensor, and the touch LED area. Today, we're just going to focus on writing a simple code for the robot brain. When we begin writing code, we need to decide when we want that code to start. If you want the code to start when you press, for example, the check mark on your code program, say hello, you'll use the when start block. Think about when you've been selecting programs that were already installed in the robot, like driver control and run. When you selected the run button and you press the check mark, that was starting the run program. So similarly, when we write code, we need to tell our robot when to start. So we use a when start block, and that means that that code will start as soon as you press the check mark on the name of that code on your robot brain. So we're going to press the when start button. When the robot starts up, we want it to broadcast the words, hello. We want the robot to say hello to us. So what we're going to do after we press when start is we're going to put, go to the set, the output button here. And there's an option that says print hello. We're going to drag the print below over and connect it to the when start block. Now, it says print hello. We can change this to say whatever we want. We could say print hello good sir if we wanted to. We'll leave it at that. Hello good sir. Now, the thing about printing something on the screen is that we want to make sure that it stays on the screen long enough that we can see it. In order to do this, we're going to use a repeat block. So we come over here to the control section. These are these yellow blocks. And there's lots of different things we can do with these yellow blocks. They're very, very useful. But I want to scroll down to where it says repeat. And we're going to drag the repeat block over here to our platform. Now this repeat block allows us to insert something into it. So I'm actually going to unattach the print. I'm going to connect the repeat block underneath when start. And I'm going to insert what I want the robot to print here. Hello, good sir. So we have when start, that means we press the check mark on the robot brain and it will start this program and we're going to have it repeat this program. We're going to repeat it actually 100 times of saying, hello, good sir. Now we should save our work. And now our program has been saved. In order to add this programming, to our robot brain, we have to add a brain to our VEX IQ area. So I will show you in a different video how to add a robotic brain to the VEX IQ area. Once you've added a robot brain there, you're going to download your program onto the robot. You do have to select a slot of which port or slot you want your um, program to go into on your robot, robot brain. And there's four slots that you can choose from on the VEX IQs. So we're just going to choose slot one, say OK. And then we press this button here to download the code onto our robot. Once you've successfully downloaded the code onto your robot, go ahead and give it a try. Make sure that you turn your robot brain off and back on every time you add new components to the robot brain. I find that this really makes the things work a little bit smoothly. Um, I find that, that just giving that robot brain a chance to restart sort of refreshes everything and things work better. So get the kids in the habit of saving their projects frequently in ModKit and turning the robot brains 
off and then back on anytime they do something new to the robot. And that is our introduction, say hello code. Thanks for watching.